Okay, ready? We'll start with the problem. Professor Kamir Ali Kassam and his research group at Cornell have been working in the Pamir Mountains in Afghanistan and Tajikistan, and they've been describing some of the traditional agricultural practices there. Now, farmers everywhere have to make a lot of decisions, decisions like which crops to grow, when to sow seeds, when to harvest. Many of the decisions that are made early in the season are based on predictions of weather later in the season. Modern farming attempts to optimize calendars on the basis of climatic probability distributions conditioned on calendar date. Professor Kassam describes practices in the Pamirs that are particularly place-based and attuned to highly local, valley-by-valley, associations between agriculturally important climate variables and culturally significant meteorological, crop developmental, and ecological variables. They attempt to optimize based on distributions conditioned on associated bioclimatic variables. This wildflower is blooming, so it's time to sow. This bird is migrating, so it's time to harvest. That sort of thing. It's a great way to transmit and embody local knowledge, But when the region became part of the USSR, much of the traditional knowledge was lost. And more recently, there's been war. And of course, there's climate change, which impacts montane regions especially hard. And the effect of climate change isn't just to make it warmer and drier, but also to change the timing of ecological events and to change them differently from each other so that the historical associations between environmental cues and the late-season climatic variables, these associations are disrupted. As a result, the old practices don't work anymore. And it's a tricky problem. We don't just need a way to predict the future climate. We need to predict the climate to do so in a way that's highly localized to particular valleys and to articulate these predictions in terms of associations with observable environmental cues. So, here's the project. We'll start with the traditional expertise. We want to understand how the old system understood nature. Which decisions, which variables, which cues. Then we'd like to work with local schools to distribute inexpensive weather stations throughout the study area, every family, every farmer. And we'll work with this new data observation network to collect daily data on the weather, crops, pests, and the natural cues that have traditionally held agricultural and cultural meaning. The collected data will be highly local, so we'll also get hold of regional weather records that cover the same time period as the observations, and we'll combine the local and regional data to create local deviation models that describe each collection location's deviations from the regional weather averages. Then we'll take regional climate forecasts, and using the deviation models, we'll downscale the regional forecasts to a local scale. Because we've been careful to collect highly multivariate daily data and to model daily climate, we'll be able to translate these local climate forecasts, which are expressed in terms of calendar date, into forecasts expressed in terms of environmental cues. Then we can take crop-specific recommended agricultural practices and map them onto the cue-based forecasts to generate the end product highly local, climate change-aware agricultural schedules that are expressed in terms of natural meteorological and ecological cues. And maybe farmers who use these calendars will benefit in increased yields and reduced inputs, or maybe not. It's an experiment. But if it is successful, we'll work to reestablish these renewed traditional practices as sustainable community place-based ecological knowledge. That's the sketchy version of the project. You have lots of questions, and I'm out of time. We've thought about many of the details, but I assure you that we've completely failed to consider some of the important ones. We'll be moving forward, we hope, with a larger team, and it won't just be us and the team, but many people and institutions who care about the issue and have supported the finding of solutions. That might include you. If so, please be in touch. We're eager to connect.